biology, I am uh, putting in front of you a question which is uh, yes, Fiza, hi, Bandana, Favraj. This question is about the steps of spermatogenesis. You might have seen such questions earlier as well. You might have seen myself discussing these questions quite very often, but it is a rapid revision, so we should do it once again. And in between, I will be putting, see, my way of doing things is, I take one question and take care of 10 more in that single question. So, in between, I will keep adding some of the facts which will be important for your preparation, right. So, as you can see, it is about spermatogenesis. I will tell you one thing, a question can come, how many days does it take for spermatogenesis to complete? Remember, the answer is 74 days. Earlier, they used to say something else, but now spermatogenesis takes 74 days to complete. Number two, remember primordial germ cells remain dormant because we are talking about a male. Primordial germ cells remain dormant till puberty. It is only after puberty you will find that the meiosis begins or spermatogenesis begins. So, a question came, it was asking, sir, will it be enough for INSCT? Um, I think uh, INSCT, little bit difference is there, but uh, does not matter. I think uh, this will suffice. So, just uh, stick with this one. Uh, though, like if you had time earlier, like I would have suggested, but uh, this will be enough. Uh, just stick to this. So, as I am uh, suggesting, you can understand that the process of spermatogenesis takes 74 days to complete, primordial germ cells remain dormant until puberty and meiosis begins only after puberty. Spermatogenesis begins only after puberty. So, a question came, do you have meiosis in the pre-pubertal testis? You say no. In pre-pubertal testis, we do not have meiosis. Meiosis begins only after puberty, that you remember. Sir, for next need PG, is it sufficient? See, sufficient means uh, if you are talking about uh, rapid revision, last resort rapid revision, it is sufficient. So, that is your answer. Now, before we start marking the answer, look at this diagram, which you would have seen me teaching quite very often, but I am doing it again. So, quick revision. You need to understand that we are starting with the the zygote and this zygote is undergoing mitosis. As the zygote is undergoing mitosis, it will give us what is called as blastocyst and in the blastocyst we will have inner cell mass. So, this is the blastocyst where we have inner cell mass. The inner cell mass will have the epiblast and uh, these epiblast cells are going to give primordial germ cell. This is one question, they will ask you, primordial germ cells are derived from? Your answer, from the epiblast. Now, remember, epiblast is the cell which will form almost all the tissue cells, structures in our body. Say, for example, if we can add here, we will mention that it is the epiblast which will undergo gastrulation to form three germ layer also. It is the epiblast which will form the ectoderm, the mesoderm and also the endoderm. So, may it be ectoderm, mesoderm or the endoderm, it is formed by the same epiblast cell. There is a fourth germ layer also which is called as neural crest cells and uh, even the fourth germ layer, neural crest cell is coming from the epiblast. But before these germ layers are formed, the epiblast would have formed the primordial germ cell. So, epiblast is, remember the five derivative of epiblast. The very first derivative is the primordial germ cell. Then you have ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm and the neural crest cells also. As you proceed further, you have to mention the primordial germ cell is the first sex cell of our body and it is going to form either the sperms or the oocyte. So, how do you decide? whether the primordial germ cell, which is the first sex cell of our body, you will be getting this PDF, post class PDF will be there. So, whatever I am writing here, I will take a screenshot, I will make a PDF and it will be reaching you. So, do not bother about writing everything, just try to understand and memorize whatever I am teaching right now. 
So, for sex cell, how do you decide whether you are going to become a mature sperm or oocyte? It is depending upon the Y chromosome. So, there is an acrocentric chromosome which is the Y chromosome and on the short arm of Y chromosome, you have a gene which is called SRY gene. S is the sex, R is the region, Y chromosome. We have one acrocentric chromosome and that acrocentric chromosome on the short arm. On the short arm of acrocentric chromosome, there is SRY gene, sex region, Y chromosome gene and it will decide whether you will be a male or female. If you have SRY gene, you will become a male and if you do not have SRY gene, then you will become a female. So, let us say we had Y chromosome, we had SRY gene, then only sperms will form. Otherwise, by default, the oocytes will form. Now, as I am telling, in the beginning we have mitosis. Mitosis keep on happening. You will have primordial germ cell giving the gonocytes, giving the gonia, which again could be the spermatogonia or oogonia, depending upon whether you have Y chromosome or not. Then you will have primary gametocyte. It could be primary oocyte, secondary oocyte, or it could be primary spermatocyte or secondary spermatocyte. Now, if it is a male, then we will find the secondary spermatocyte will give us the spermatid and spermatid will form the sperm. So, a sequence they have asked, you can start by telling, first we have primordial germ cell in male, then we will have the spermatogonium, then we will have the primary spermatocyte, then the secondary spermatocyte, then we will have the spermatid and then we will have spermatozoa. So, that was your question. Now, father will give spermatozoa, mother will give mature oocyte, they fertilize and then will have the zygote and the cycle continues. Now, remember, it is the primary spermatocyte or primary oocyte which will enter meiosis. Meiosis begins here. Meiosis will begin only at the level of the primary oocyte or primary spermatocyte, not before that. So, what is happening before that? All this is mitosis. Question comes, spermatogonium will form the primary spermatocyte by which cell division? Spermatogonium will form the primary oocyte, maybe male, female, by which cell division? You say it is by mitosis. This is mitosis because meiosis begins only after this. It is the primary oocyte or primary spermatocyte which will enter meiosis 1. Be careful. 